Citizens, it is that time. You are officially in Alert Zone. Welcome to the Alert Zone TV. I am Uncle James. You already know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell so you'll be notified when we drop fire content. Give the video a like, share, definitely comment. And if you're 18 or older, get legally armed. It is legal under the Constitution. So, sitting here with my home defense, Smith & Wesson SD40, the Chamberlain 40 caliber. And I just wanted to talk about something. To those who didn't come from the old channel, maybe you guys never got to understand certain things about me, so I want to clear some things up. <sighs> about why when I decided to do this YouTuber, I decided I was going to teach and do commentary besides shooting. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I'm not a like one of these amazing shots that y'all see on TV. Uh, I can do pretty good at the range. Um, in a self-defense situation, I know how to handle myself and I can put somebody down if I need to. What I thought about when we started High High Alert TV and now the Alert Zone TV was the changing the narrative about firearms, not only nationally, but ethnically also, um, and racially. You know, I understand for years I've been watching different channels and I've seen different posts and what have you. And when you make uncle status, what's different about that is, think about it. For those of you who ever had a bunch of uncles or a couple of uncles, you was able to talk to your uncles about things you couldn't talk to your parents about. Your uncles would tell you certain things and say, don't tell your mama or your daddy I'm telling you this because they ain't going to like it. Your uncle going to tell you what it is. Your mom and dad may tell you or not tell you certain things because they don't want you to experience it maybe like they did. Or maybe they think that you'll never experience that. So they tell you, it doesn't happen here. That doesn't, that's, that's, that's not for here, no. I tell you guys and girls out there the things I tell y'all out of a place of love and concern and just being real and upfront. I don't live in the fantasy world. I don't live in a world where I believe unicorns are running up around the earth, because I've never seen a unicorn. Um, what I mean by that is sometimes political and racial discussions are going to have to be a part of firearms. Now, I know every channel doesn't do, do that. That's why I do it. I don't do it because I want to upset people. I want to tell you probably one of the biggest reasons I decided to bringing those things is for those of you who don't know I was born and raised in New Orleans I moved up here in Iowa when I was about 30, 31, something like that and it was a culture shock for me I grew up in a city that was 80 something percent black I live in a town that the black population in this county is less than 1% that is a culture shock for me um, before moving here, all I ever lived around was black people. Um, there was white folks. We were segregated in the sense of the, most of the neighborhoods were split in New Orleans. Um, Vietnamese village, the Vietnamese lived amongst themselves. Uh, Araby, you know, a lot of Arabs stayed down there and what have you. Based the uh, the Africans live across the river or wherever. Basically, it's kind of separate. That's the way I grew up. I mean, I'm seeing there's more integration down there now than there was when I came up. And when I moved here to Iowa, I was kind of in awe, like, you know what I mean? And 
upon living here and people starting to talk to me, I started understanding why some people have certain views of people. And I started seeing something that how important media is and how destructive media can be, especially mainstream media when they got the monopoly because you only hear what they want you to hear. And the conversation about firearms became like an awe moment for some people when I walked in a store one day to buy one. And it was as though you ever seen on those movies when people walk into a particular business and they're people from that community don't usually come there, so everything's stopping everybody is just like Well when I walked up everybody was just in awe. And you know, I pulled out my proper uh information and bought me a firearm and what have you. And it just got the conversation going since I've been up here. And I've met a lot of people who said the only time they've ever seen us with firearms has always been in a negative light because they grew up around only white, only Hispanic, only Asian, only Native American or whatever. We wasn't around. Even Africans up here, you know, grew up around all Africans. So the image of black Americans, especially the men in firearms, is never a positive one. Um, one of the most memorable images outside of the military was when the Black Panther showed up. And even some of your most starch Second Amendment supporters seen those guys and girls as a threat, even though they showed up with legal firearms in public in a legal space. So that was like from what I researched, like one of the first non-military experiences of seeing black folks with firearms. And from that, once they destroyed basically the Black Panthers, the next time you started seeing us in mainstream media with firearms was those black exploitation films where we seem to always be criminals. So then, us and firearms got synonymous or being criminal or being anti-government. It was never presented to the rest of the country that we legally armed to protect ourselves. That, that, that the mainstream media made sure to go out of the way not to, to talk about that narrative. And then, you know, the 80s, 90s, you guys all know um, how it just went even more downhill and like now. So I just decided that waiting on the mainstream media will never be shown in a positive light with firearms. They'll always show us as a negative light with firearms. And that's why social media and YouTube, the guys and girls that do these YouTube videos is really, really, really important. You'll never know because if you don't know life before the internet, you don't understand how everybody's image across this country was distorted because the mainstream media had a monopoly, like I said, on promoting images about people, whether they was true or not. And the thing was, you couldn't fight it because they had a, you know, a um, monopoly on the media. And... So, throughout, before I started doing this channel, I started going shooting up here in Iowa, and it would be just like, seeing me walk at the shooting range, people would just be like, and they would stand there, and they would just be in awe, and they would watch me shoot, and what have you. And I want to shout out the general store here in Marshalltown, Iowa. Because the general store really embraced me from the first time I ever went in that place. And once I started buying firearms, they started educating me on certain things about firearms. 
because when I got here, I AK-47, I thought that was just the baddest thing known to me. Because what I come from in New Orleans, they call it Chopper City for a reason. So I thought that they, the AK-47 was just it. And I knew of Glock, Taurus, Smith & Wesson. But moving here and getting around people that's really into the Second Amendment, I started learning that I really didn't know about firearms like I thought I did. Um, I started running into companies that had been around for a long time and a whole lot of other different things. And my journey here in the Second Amendment world has grown and is still growing. Um, I own guns with scopes on them now. Here pretty soon, I'm going to get into the uh, green dot, red dot optic. When I was younger, I never ever thought about getting none of that stuff. I never ever thought about how how much that would help. You know, I knew about guns and the safety of them, but I just didn't ever take into consideration a lot of the things that I'm conscious about now. And I think the Second Amendment media, I call it here on YouTube, where there's channels where they basically showing you gunsmithing, was well, this channels where the majority of the content is legal and keeping up unbiasedly, keeping up with the legal uh, aspect of firearms, or uh, whether it's with people that are shooting, man, you just learn a whole lot, man. People, all of y'all out there, a lot of times I come through y'all channels, sometimes I put the alerts on, uh, stay safe, stay on, stay on high, high alert. Sometimes I give the videos a like and I don't get an opportunity to really get into your comment section. But I cruise the sections, man. And I, you guys and girls don't know how much I learned from not only the videos, but y'all comment sections. Because any video that I watch, I try and go in the comment section and see what the sentiment is. And even here in the alert zone, man, I'm learning a lot from y'all in the comment section here. Um... Like I said, eventually, here pretty soon, I want to get into the it, Sig Romeo, Vortex Venom, things like that. Um, on my channel, I shoot for reliability because I keep in mind that a lot of people are still new to firearms. Because as the laws change, as things change out, people are gravitating towards getting legally armed. So I always like to keep new firearm owners in mind. You know, I don't really like to leave them out, you know, because sometimes when people don't know things, they can feel like you're talking over their head and it discourages them. So uh, for people who live in states with all these different restrictions, you know, I own several firearms. That's California, New York legal, hell, this thing only holds eight rounds. Under the stupid New Mexico law that they're talking about they want to pass, this would be legal. And this is my EDC, you know. But just because I feel comfortable with this, I can put rounds on target repeatedly what I want with this thing. And there's other different reasons, you know. Like I said, I always wanted a 380 when I was young. And, you know, Spice One would blast the 380. Uh, it kind of helped. I had a couple of friends that had these and family members, you know, 380s, um, different companies. So I wanted a 380 one day and I happened to walk in on this. And to be honest, I didn't even knew Walter existed. That goes to tell you how narrow my mind was about, I had tunnel vision about firearms because, you know, pretty much everything was restricted to what the rappers tell you. I'll be honest. You know, a lot of people that's just getting into firearms you know, I walked in a store and I watched some guys buying a Glock one day, buying Glocks, and they didn't even know what model, what caliber. All they know is they wanted a Glock, and they kept asking, okay, so what do you want? 22, 380, 357, SIG, 40, 9mm, 45, 40, 10 millimeter. what do you want? But well, we just want a Glock. We want a Glock because they had heard it in the song, and they got old enough to buy a gun, so they went to go buy them a Glock. 
and it was just funny, man. Um, so, you know, and then other life situations throughout the series that I have, I just teach you from my experiences so you don't learn things the hard way and so that everybody out there knows these things exist. Your parents may tell you it don't exist or it can't happen to you. These things exist. So, um, like I said, I wanted to change the narrative about guns in America, but I definitely want to change the narrative about black people owning firearms in America because we are so demonized, especially the men, as though we're going to go out and buy one of these from a gun store so we can go hang on the corner and shoot up a bunch of people. And that's the furthest from the truth. If you know anything about the recidivism rate, the majority of the guys in the hood committing the crimes are repeat offenders. It's not everybody doing that. It's a small group that's committing all the crimes. That, that's a statistical fact. So um, I just wanted to bring that out to everybody. You know, this channel may or may not be for you. Um, some of y'all, I'm getting more and more views with the firearms than I did on the last channel, and I really appreciate that. Uh, you know, my shorts was hitting pretty good before my other channel got shut down. But just doing my reviews and what have you, the range time, I'm getting a lot of views on that, and I, I, I like that, and I'm getting people feedback on what I could be doing right, what I could be doing wrong, and even with the Tech 9 video that I posted the other day, uh, a couple people told me, don't hold the mag, hold the mag well, because that may be an issue. So I'm going to try that, because I've never tried that. I'm just so used to using that as a, you know, um, a front grip. So uh, if this not your channel, I understand. Subscribe to somebody here on YouTube that talks about the Second Amendment in a positive way that you like. And support him or her or them or whatever. Support them. You know, um, support your family and yourself. Get legally armed if you're 18 or older. It's not illegal. Stop making people, letting people tell you that if you buy a firearm, somehow you part of the problem. And somehow you less than this and you less than that. Because I'm going to say this and I'm in this video. Could you imagine America if the military... And law enforcement wasn't armed. Till next time. <laughs> stay safe. Stay armed. Stay on high, high alert. Hit me in the comment section.